Mm, cornstarch is my favorite. It's to die for. <laughs> it was hot, y'all. It was literally hot and burning my mouth. Like, I had never experienced such thing before. <laughs> Anyways, what's up, YouTube friends and YouTube kin? It's your girl, Kate, and I'm back with another video. Um, I would say this is a how-to, but this is more like a what not to do. Okay, so, bum, we're going to jump right into it. I got my three um, paper bags, right? So, I picked up these three paper bags from the Dollar Tree, because y'all know that's one of my favorite stores. And I'm just removing the handles off of them. I did watch some videos before, you know, to kind of see what to do. Because I am a cornstarch lover and I do love crunchy cornstarch, right? So I'm getting my um, three bags ready to go ahead and pour the cornstarch inside of them. Okay, now I was so tempted when I seen the cornstarch fall into the bag and all the smoke just come up. I love that look. I love the smell of it. And I love the taste of cornstarch. So I was so tempted to just eat it right then. But I was like, no, okay. You said you was... You was going to make cornstarch chunks, so go ahead and stick it out. It's only about, you know, two hours or so for it to be cooking, right? So I'm doing all the hard work. Uh, I, I, this is what I seen to do. This is what I seen somebody do, too, in front of me making it. And, you know, I, I'm putting the cornstarch in there, and you want to flatten it out like how I looked in the beginning of the video. You want to flatten it out and make sure that it's all even inside of the bag or the box or whatever you're using, and you want to make sure that it's real tight because you got to get all of the air out of it in order for it to stick together and become a solid, right? So I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put mine in multiple bags because when I was pressing it down, the bag was kind of like busting open a little bit. So I didn't want that to happen. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and, you know, put it in multiple bags. Good thing I got three bags. So I'm, just, I'm putting all my weight on it. Oh, I'm a little 145. I'm putting it all on the on the cornstarch. I'm trying to get all the air out because that is very important. If you want to have chunks, you have to get all of the air out of the cornstarch or it's not going to become a solid. So that's what I'm trying to do here. As you can see, I'm putting it inside of another bag. Um, it started wasting everywhere. I wanted to lick it off the counter, but, you know, I didn't know if if. My kids actually cleaned the counter properly or not. But if I would have cleaned it, I would have licked it off the counter, y'all. I sure would have. Yep. So I'm trying to smash it down as much as I can. Um, it's still coming out the size, but I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and grab um, the aluminum foil. Because you have to also wrap it in multiple layers of aluminum foil. That way, you know... It's just like when you're baking anything else. When you're baking something, you're wrapping in aluminum foil. Like when you're baking a baked potato, it's like that. Instead, the baked potato is getting soft. The cornstarch is to make it hard. So I'm about to go ahead and wrap it inside aluminum foil. I'm using good aluminum foil, too, because I had some dollar aluminum foil in my cabinet. But I was like, nah, I want my corn chunks to come out right. So let me go ahead and, you know, use the good stuff. So I'm using the expensive aluminum foil. And so I'm still trying to push it down because I know that's very, very important. I'm like putting all my weight on it. I'm like, dang, this is way harder than I thought. And so I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and wrap this up. And, you know, wrap it up as many times as I need to. I don't remember exactly how many layers I did, but y'all about to see um, a few of them. So I'm steady pushing it down while I'm wrapping it up. Now, when I get it inside the aluminum foil and I'm pushing it down, now it's looking how it's supposed to be looking, you know. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm pretty sure I can, you know, do this. This can't be that hard. And I'm very determined. While I'm doing this, my mouth is watering. Oh, my goodness. Like, and it's not. I used to think that I liked the cornstarch so much because I had low iron. But my iron is no longer low. And it haven't been low for a while. And I still crave cornstarch. Like, I still crave cornstarch. I don't know what it is. But I love me some cornstarch. They said my mama used to eat cornstarch, too. So maybe... I don't know. So now I'm stepping on it, y'all. I'm doing the heel toe on the cornstarch. I mean, I'm really trying to get it in. I'm going to go ahead and put my oven on because, you know, before you bake anything, you want to go ahead and preheat the oven. So I'm stepping on it. That's what you see me doing, bouncing up and down. I'm stepping on the cornstarch, trying to make sure I get all the air out. I'm like, okay, this is how you get all the air out. Now you want to get you a pan, as I did, and you want to put a little bit of water in it. I mean, a little bit. 
just a little bit. You don't want the water to be halfway past the cornstarch brick or the aluminum foil brick, whatever you want to call it. You don't want it to be, you know, over it. You want it to be like just enough right up under it. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute when I get done one, two step in the cornstarch. I'm about to show y'all how I had it in the pan. Oh, yeah. I took another layer. I don't even know why. I was just trying to make sure that I had this thing wrapped, okay? I was trying to make sure I had this thing wrapped like it's supposed to be wrapped because, you know, I needed to give what it's supposed to be given. So I'm wrapping it up for this one last time before I go ahead and put it inside the pan. And as you can see, it is completely flat. Um, it don't look like it's any more air I can push out of it. I'm still pushing it, steady smushing it together, steady trying to make it, you know, stay together or whatnot. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you know, get it as tight as you can. So now I'm putting it inside the pan. And as you can see, you see where the water at? It's supposed to be about like that. So my oven is already preheated. I put it on 350. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pop this into the oven and let it cook. Now it has to cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. So go ahead and go do whatever you want to do. I went ahead and took me a bath and everything, you know, got the kids settled. Well, the bigger kids at least settled or whatnot. Oh, well, I tried to because chicken's still here. But, yeah, so I went ahead and did a few things around the house, and I came back. It had been about maybe an hour and 45 minutes. It hadn't been two full hours yet. So this thing is hot. For one, all the water gone, so I knew it was going to be hot. But, baby, this Luna Ford, normally, like, foil and stuff don't really stay that hot, you know, when they come out of the oven. I don't know, but this was burning my fingers. Like, it was really, really hot. As you can see, I'm kind of having a hard time trying to take it off why it's hot but i'm so anxious what you're supposed to do is put it in the freezer when you take it out of the oven put it in the freezer i repeat put it inside of the freezer me being so anxious and want some cornstarch so bad i go ahead and unravel the whole thing now knowing i'm supposed to put it in the freezer i knew i was supposed to put it in the freezer before i even took it out of the oven so as you can see, you can see some of the cornstarch um, on the out, outside where like when I was pushing it and it was already coming out when the bag, when the bags was busting, and you can see that cornstarch residue left on the outside. So that's the first bag off. And as you can see, a lot of it isn't hardened. Now I'm going to go ahead and take um, the second bag off. Or is this the last one? Oh, okay, that's the last one. So I realized that I did not have a brick. So disappointing, you guys. Y'all can't see how disappointed I was because y'all can't see my face on this part. But I was really like, WTF. But me, loving cornstarch, I still started eating it. Now, it had like pieces of chunks in it. Like it was like, like you could see the little chunks on the video a little bit. It was like more pieces of chunk. But from what I was watching, it was supposed to come out like a brick. So me, I'm like, okay, I'm finna experiment then. Since it don't want to come out right. So I go ahead and dump the whole thing in the pan. Now I'm patting it down like it's a cake. Like, I'm about to bake a pie or something. And so I go ahead and I pat it all down inside the pan. And I'm like, I'm going to put it back in the oven and see what it do. Because it ain't give what it was supposed to give the first time. I'm steady patting it down. I'm like, yeah, this is going to work. This is going to work. Because it's got a little bit of water in the pan. It's going to cook. It's going to get hard. It's going to be like, you know, a cornstarch cake. Nope. Epic fail. But don't worry about it because my next video, baby, I got them crunches on points. And when I tell you, if you wasn't eating cornstarch before, this is going to definitely make you want some. And if you was already eating it, you was going to definitely want some more. But yeah, so that's not how you make cornstarch crunches. You After you get done, first of all, you got to make sure you take enough air out. Then after you get done, make sure you put it in the freezer. But what you definitely need to make sure you do is like this video, comment, and make sure you watch the next video for when I actually make the chunks.